investigative update. Three days, NGO's ultimatum ended and next action, Grand Handler's ultimatum ends on Wednesday 24th and next action. National Freedom Fighters Congress Briefing My name is Michael Philemon and we bring you intelligent reports. Femi Falana, Femi Falana San, born 20th May 1958 in the town of Ilawe, Ikiti State. He is a Nigerian lawyer and human rights activist. He is also the father to Folarin Falana, popularly known as Fals. Femi Falana is a well-known activist for human rights, always trying to show sympathy towards people. Femi Falana is well known for opposing oppression from successive military authorities. FCI comrades of the new freedom fighters comprising of men, women, old and young Christians and Muslims successfully working as one body at the Tennessee State Unit Division in Grant Community. Representatives reached out to the popular San Femi Falana Shambas and was fortunate to get in touch with the set man himself who gave them a VIP invitation and special appointment with the national representatives of FCI. Michael Philemon, Marcy's PRO, Barrister Alice, FCI lawyer, Comrade Fortune CC. Nwa Nisha, FCI Vice President Comrade Benga Ogumbi, human rights activist, and in absentia Comrade Abimbola James, oil state representative. We were welcomed by the reception attendant and was directed to the most beautiful boardroom in the Shambas waiting for San Femi Falana. Immediately he joined us in the meeting, it was as if light flooded the room. He was full of joy receiving the FCI team and was waiting to hear the several years story of their waiting masses. San Femi Falana, after hearing the news, first removed his glasses to process the whole information in a minute and started talking. Quoting, my young children, there is no grant donor agency that is genuine in the world that I do not know of. There are few grant donors in the world and their names are, he called them out as he counted with his fingers. These donors give money to promote and fight for human rights. Diseases, natural disasters, poverty, alleviation, etc. But there is a certain amount for a targeted number of people. Nobody gives out money for uncountable number of people. It's not done anywhere in the world. And there must be a time frame when this money must get to the people it's meant for. Duration is part of the grant regulations. Grant is not a secret thing and the donors are not hiding. Any grant handler who cannot tell you who his or her grant donors are is hiding something from all of you and you have to be very careful. There are many ways you apply for a grant. A grant donor can never tell you to pay a certain amount of money before you get a grant. Is it a Pons scheme? It's not done. Not for logistics or anything like that because the grant donors have already made provisions available for all of that. To apply for a grant, you have to provide a proposal where you ensure you are specific about what the money will be used for. For example, agricultural production because a certain amount of money is administered for free. You don't pay to get it, you apply for it. When people say disbursing grants in a nation will bring 
about inflation that the economy will be will collapse it is a lie it is even going to show up the naira and beat down inflation in 1980 when i was of your age uh one dollar was was 60 kobo we were enjoying ourselves back in those days now hearing these figures you are mentioning for the disbursement from these grant handlers no country will release such amount of money to any country in the world don't allow anybody dupe you in the name of grant with those figures for millions of people and to deceive you people more most of these perpetrators are pastors in emphasis fake pastors claiming to have what they don't have they can never be specific with the truth some of them may have it but not in that volume stored somewhere we see them all over the place any grant handler who brings one billion dollars into nigeria right now will be widely celebrated because the government needs money the government can never stop such disbursement our friends in the government i hear things i see things the grant handlers you people are giving all this money we soon take the money and run away from the country that's what they do i'm going to assist you people and i will lodge a complaint to the only for the years of the new freedom fighters and i'm going to get back to you people and tell you what to do ensure you send me some proof of and also some document and i will take it up from there fci national executives who were perplexed by all these words from the elderly son decided to ask another question as the value for beneficiaries of different grants was looked into we moved into cluster heads or chairman and mentioned the values promised to chairman by different grant handlers immediately san femi falana he had had the value he shouted wow he laughed so loud he was almost rolling on the board room table and this has been going on for seven years question mark he said the yoruba adage says if it takes you three years to learn madness so when will you practice it san femi falana pulled out his phone from his pocket left his seat came close to FCI national executives clicked few buttons on his phone and showed them all the genuine grant donor agencies in the world as an angel leader how can you sign an MOU with a grant handler who cannot tell you his donors or who you are not fully convinced about the funds availability and you go ahead to collect money from people you will implicate yourself it's a very dangerous risk i'll be going out for another meeting right now we will work together and i will give you a feedback on our findings on these mentioned grant and angels spearheading this collection of monies you whether the money is available or not in existence the first thing to do is to confirm the availability of funds and know the donors to confirm if the donor agencies are genuine or not so make sure you inform the people first firstly to stop sending money to these grant handlers why in order for the extortion to stop we will get back to you on the rest ahead till i come your witness time okay
uh my viewers at home watch your reaction to this uh, please drop your reaction in the comment section and sure you subscribe to our channel and share this report across all supreme liberation center become a golden bridge candle light name it a grand platform snow to your facebook instagram telegram whatsapp and name it and ensure you subscribe to our channel for more updates from the last thanks and god bless and bye for now do join us in the other news please okay